Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And I'm Jake. And if we are all together, it can mean only one thing. Oh my god. That's right. The 10 Richter scale earthquake has ravaged America. <laughs> Uh-huh. We are all trapped in a bunker uh, somewhere in the middle of this wasteland of a country. Society's broken down, but luckily, 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 we brought our Pokemon cards with us. Yay! <laughs> oh boy, you ready for some TCG inspired hilarity? <laughs> Hell yeah! I know I am. Hey, gotta collect them all. That's all I gotta say. Wow. Now, uh, did anybody in this room actually play the TCG back in the day? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Really? <laughs> ooh. Ooh, me. I could have sworn you were just a Magic the Gathering boy. No, no, Magic the Gathering came later. Mmm. I think I did a little bit of both. I did Magic and a little bit of Pokemon cards. And up. Yu-Gi-Oh. I did Yu-Gi-Oh, oh, too. You didn't know. No one did Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you had the bug, huh? I wanted to spend my parents' money on <laughs> pieces of paper. <laughs> <laughs> that was the original catchphrase for the Pokemon card game. <laughs> hey, kids, spend your parents' money on p p p paper. <laughs> it must be so frustrating to be a parent and you give your child money as an allowance to like teach them responsibility, and they just exchange that paper for worse paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, what are we doing today? We got Pokemon cards. We got us. What we're going to do, Nathan, is we're going to take these Pokemon cards. Uh, Jake, our resident game master and uh, name giver. Name giver, game master, conqueror of the sun, Jake I, Young. I prefer the title Chubby Friendo. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Young is going to uh, randomly select Pokemon cards, and we are going to have to draw that Pokemon on the spot from memory as best we can without looking at the card. Nathan, I believe you're going first. I'm going first. Would you like to begin? I would love nothing more. Oh, it's so weird holding one of these like foil-packed cards like for the first time in, I'm going to say, well over 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, get that sound. Oh, that Ooh, crinkle. That ASMR going. Yeah, crinkly. That All is, right. Oh. Uh, ooh, we, I was expecting just a lot of like energy, but uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Excitement is real. Oh, wow. This is so retro. <laughs> Jake just pocketed half the cards. Yeah. Without I, <laughs> this is, okay. All right. All right. Your first Pokemon yes. is Caterpie. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. A well-known early entry featured prominently in the anime. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is the, the Pokemon Evolutions set. Uh-huh. And uh, I figured... The Pokemon on the covers of the packs yes. looked like ones that I remembered. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> no, this time. is a reprint of the original series one Pokemon cards. Like, oh, ooh. really? Yeah, hold on. Look at this. Look at this old Professor Oak artwork. Yeah, Ken Sugimori had those them real janky Professor Oaks early on. Everyone <laughs> just had a real squarish head. It's fun that. This, like, entire game series has evolved from just Ken Sujimori's weird OCs. Caterpie is just Weedle without the horn, right? Um. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, he looks so sad. Caterpie, he's got uh, less horn, more mouth, I think is the way to describe it. Because Weedle is all nose. Mm. More mouth? More mouth. Caterpie is, like, really a weird design unless you know what kind of caterpillar it's based on. Yeah. Right. Is Weedle based on an existing bug, Jake? Uh, it's based on all bugs. Just gross, <laughs> grubby, little... There is, like, a, a larva that has a little horn, and I can't remember what bug that's for. Does it also have a big cartoon nose, that larva that you're describing? I mean, it does, <laughs> but, like, in nature, it just explodes into several sharp, pointy mandibles. <laughs> exactly. Because bugs are disgusting. You guys, of course, know about the nose beetle. It's just a giant nose with legs. It's honestly, like every time there's a nature documentary and it's mm-hmm. about bugs, it's never cute. They never have like adorable bug puppies and they never like mate for life and they never do anything. It's always just like, ah, the northeastern <laughs> moth grub uh, yeah. is known for committing war crimes. <laughs> it actually goes into the nests of other bugs and makes their babies kill their parents. <laughs> Hell's Mantis is the only bug capable of religion. (laughs) And it uses it for evil. (laughs) 
it is true, I guess just because of the, the rapid reproduction cycles of bugs, they can just evolve super quickly and they're just all maxed out. That's why yeah. like ants, that, that's why you got ants that are basically guns. What? <laughs> St. Thomas's Hornet forces its brood to fight in a big pit and only the strongest one gets to live. <laughs> I just found a picture of what Caterpie is based off of, and it's like a one-to-one translation. Like, Jake is absolutely right. It yeah. just looks exactly like it's real thing. And, Nathan, this is less one-to-one and more, you know. Yeah. I took some creative liberties. You know, I'm not... I'm just the warm-up. I'm I'm supposed to set the tone. I mean, we have a bit of kayfabe with this series, but I'm just going <laughs> to go ahead and put you on blast, Nathan. Uh, you know for a fact there was no first-gen Pokemon that was just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> You said it was more mouth. I gave it more mouth. <laughs> I wanted more mouth. Well, you did forget about its weird little horn thing, Nathan. It does. It doesn't have a horn, but it does have kind of a a crest. Antenna. Yeah, it's like an antenna thing. Mm-hmm. What, uh, an antenna thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you wanna yeah. oh yeah, it does. It has its like uh, this thing, right? Hey! Yeah. It's got... There we go. <laughs> it does have a this thing. It's got like some sort of weird bone growth up there, kind of like a like the front of a car might have. Right. Like a hood I mean, ornament. in nature. Thank, thank you for reminding me. Carl. The caterpillar it's based on in nature is supposed to resemble a snake. Okay. So nobody fucks with it. And that antenna is supposed to be the flicking tongue. It can like oh. extend it to scare oh. predators. That's interesting. Evolution is so weird because it's just a bug deciding that it wants to look like a snake real bad. And <laughs> like just believing in itself for hundreds of years until it looks like a snake a little bit. This canopy looks like it got a stick embedded in its forehead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. It's like, okay. No, this this Please Pokemon has frontal lobe damage. Yeah. <laughs> this Pokemon's Aww. like, am I a snake? Do I look like a snake yet? His hiss. Uh, I'm just feeling sad for Caterpie. I, I think I'm done here. Let me yeah. let me see what uh what it actually looked like. Here you go. Uh coming up on the card. Caterpie. Wow, that that really is. That's the original. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that swirly tie-dye background. Yeah, no, you got what is essentially just a reboot of the original card series. Oh, it's great. Cool. It's kind of amazing. We've come full circle. Oh, I forgot his stupid little, like, butt thing. Yeah, <laughs> his little leaf. Well, oh, yeah. you know. Well, I, I like this one better, to be honest. Thank you. All right, Caldwell, you're up. It's time for my Pokemon adventure to begin. I'm going to give you one. Uh, Sand True. Ooh, Sand True. Sand yeah. true. Are these all Gen 1 Pokemon? Yeah, I think that's the whole point of this edition of the Pokemon game. It's evolutions, and they're just updating the original Gen 1 cards to be to fit into the current game, I think. Interesting. Okay. So far, it looks like Caldwell's drawing that robed Final Fantasy boss <laughs> with the knife and the lantern. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, a Tonberian? Yeah. Tonberry. Ooh, good Paul. Tonberry, yeah. I am just realizing that Sandshrew, I remember its eyes specifically because it had weird bug eyes. Yeah. Did it have a mouth? Um, it had the suggestion of a mouth. Well, let's just give it a little more of a mouth. Yeah. Just kind of like. Giving all these mons a little bit more mouth than the, the yeah. <laughs> they may they may have previously had. Aw. That was, I guarantee that was not the mouth. How's that for a mouth? <laughs> I liked what you were saying about giving this sand shrew just like giving it a knife. <laughs> Wait, I did I say that? Yeah, you said it looked like a tonberry, oh. which is a Final Fantasy creature that is just like a little hooded lizard with a knife. Okay, I said that, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna give this sand shrew. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, sand shrew is a is a chef. This is yeah, that, chef that's sand a, That's a butcher's. Like cleaver, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't even want to know what Sand Slash is carrying. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I remember, Sandshrew is kind of like a weird little pangolin fella. He's like, I think he's more armadilla than okay. a pangolin, but like they're both roly poly mm-hmm. freak mammals. Yeah, they're one of those weird mammals where it's like, how are you a mammal? Yeah. What uh, what egg group are they a part of? That's a very good question that everyone was asking and wondering. Because yeah, all Pokemon hatch from eggs. It's true, regardless of uh, their size, of their species, they're all all from eggs. They're all from eggs. Oh God, I just thought about Snorlax eggs and it made me feel sad. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that like, do people eat the p- eggs from every Pokemon species? Oh. 
Because it's like, it's super confirmed that they eat Pokemon. Like, I think that basically all of Sun and Moon is just reminding you of that fact. Like, you'll just talk to any NPC and they're like, mm, can't wait to eat a, a slowpoke tail. Yum, yum, mm. yum, yum, yum. I can't wait for my slowpoke to die so I can just eat its tail. <laughs> there, there's so much eating in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah. Yeah. Is it part of the game? Like, is there a benefit to it? Like, I went into a shop uh-huh. in game and just got a bento box and then just watched my character eat it. <laughs> And then I and then it was just like okay yeah Nathan it's all about taking those quiet moments for you for yourself <laughs> just in game yeah <laughs> the whole game is just a vacation and like it literally provides you those opportunities within game it's fantastic <laughs> it gives me such ease when I play it I feel so calm like I go to the coffee man in every town because I just yes. love him like him telling me like a little tidbit about his fucking grandson every time I go it's <laughs> wonderful the coffee man did not get enough love in the internet mind sphere. It's true. Can I tell you something that I, it took me way too long to realize, and I think that this game really like sets in stone, mm-hmm. is that like the Pokemon Adventure is just it's just summer camp. You're just going to a weird ass summer camp, and all the Pokemon professors are not real adults. They're just like wash ups who are your counselors that make sure you don't die as you play mm-hmm. with these monsters. And it's just the whole game is just so your mom can get a fucking break. <laughs> So your mom can have, like, a second to herself. (laughs) Here's my dark game theory. You're a shitty kid and your mom doesn't want you around. (laughs) (laughs) Gotta get the nipples. Oh, no. (laughs) On the Pokemon. You know what? I I got distracted and I didn't realize what a lumpy atrocity you you put (laughs) forth. I kind of like him. This is, like, one of those... um, in those compilations was like, this artist did a a dark reboot of what (laughs) Pokemon look like. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got person ears? No, it's just got little ears. I mean, it is a mammal after all. <laughs> this is also like Sandshrew has like a brick texture to denote its like mm-hmm. kind of stone like exterior. Yeah. I think and I you got were just that. like, no, 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 gross calluses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this whole thing is a thumb. <laughs> oh, hold on one sec. Let me just, uh, just real quick. This is canon. Um, it's used this knife. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it uses uh, it a lot. It gets bloodier after every battle you use it in. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, how there's a lot of moves that like take the whole battle to work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's got four moves. And then the one the one move that you're only going to want to use, and this is banned from tournament play, is use knife. <laughs> use knife. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, that's my that's my shrew. How did I do? You got the dead black eyes, right? Cool. Um, and that's about it? <laughs> no, you got the general body structure and the arms. It does have little ears, just not <laughs> those ones. Uh-huh. I feel like you did a pretty good job interpreting it to your own disgusting machinations. I am actually mad that this isn't what Sandshrew looks like. I think this is much better. I think that you should be able to give your Pokemon all sorts of knives and cutlery. Well, it's time for the part of the show that is the real reason we're all here. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's Julia's turn. Oh, no. it's, it's the magic hour. It's the magic hour. Night has oh, fallen no. over Kanto. All right, hold on. Opening the pack while Julia gets settled. Oh, there's another pack. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Oh, man, for a sec. Oh, that was one of those those yelling packs. <laughs> that makes, a, <laughs> makes a loud yawning sound whenever it's opened. Uh, I thought, wait, this isn't a foil Charizard, right? This is just... <laughs> is it? Holy shit. It. Holy shit. Wait, did we get... We did we a... literally get a holographic Charizard? We got a holographic <laughs> Charizard. Holy shit! <laughs> Wait, is this oh literally God. the one that people lose their minds over? No, because it's like it's a reprint, but still. That's hilarious. Still, though. Like that's what I spent my entire childhood searching for. <laughs> yeah. And we just pulled it. We just pulled it. Here you go. Oh my God. There you go. This Holy dark crap. object of want and desire. Yeah, yeah it's, di- it's been updated. It has different stats. Okay. It's, it's even stronger. <laughs> but Nathan, yeah. is it shiny though? Oh, it's shiny though. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Julia. So is that what I'm drawing? You're drawing a Charizard. Oh, God. Right. A hologram Charizard. <laughs> a hologram Charizard. Julia, it needs to be the shiniest Charizard possible. Okay. I thought I would remember more of like the Gen 1. Turns out, not really. <laughs> do, you, you, do you have like any image? Pop into your brain when you I think just, Charizard. I just remember he's got 
stubbly little arms mm -hmm. and thick old legs and okay. a big old belly. Okay. That's the only thing I remember. Julie, I think you're you're dead on the money. Go belly first <laughs> for sure. Okay. Well, belly flop into this drawing. Okay. If you I'm gonna want. I'm gonna build the base and then like work out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like a like a true artist. Yeah. So <laughs> Right? <laughs> I mean yeah. mm -hmm. you're not wrong. This is the closest I think you've ever been. I, just, that is just a that, pleasing that contour. Basic shape. I did play Gen <laughs> One. It's been it's been a couple of years, you know, what? maybe like twenty, <laughs> but Oh, if she remembers those weird Gen One sprites, then like who knows what yeah. she's gonna come up with. Oh, that's true. <laughs> These janky sprites. All right. So Already getting pretty lumpy, a yeah. lot lumpier than I remember. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I remember like Gen One Pikachu was real like short and lumpy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh wow. Right. He's <laughs> Look got. At those. That's a haunch. He's got like <laughs> thick legs, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Julie, I think you're onto something great here, which is just the the chubby variants of all the Pokemon. <laughs> I've been on DeviantArt. They yeah. exist. <laughs> yeah. Have you Google image searched any of these Pokemon before? <laughs> no. No. I don't want. I don't want huge, rotund, like bursting, pregnant ones. I just want them to just be a little chubby. <laughs> just like like that fat Pikachu from Gen One, yeah. who's just like so okay with himself. <laughs> and I want. I want like the the Charizard that like you know maybe likes a donut every now and then. <laughs> Right? This Had is... one poke bean too oh, many. Julia, you have to do something with that face to make it look less like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't tell her how to do her art. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't like stretch markers art. <laughs> this is just like, hey, Ken Sugimori, it's, uh, it's me, President Nintendo. I, got, I hear you got some new mons for us. Um... Could you just get me just one chunky Yoshi, please? <laughs> For my video game Pokemon, I require, I desire above all things, just one chunky Yoshi, please. Is that his face? Oh, no. Yeah. no. I refuse. Oh, I refuse God. this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, he there was he an is. angry guy, so like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't make me mad. <laughs> Removed my Triscuits. Oh, he I was saving wait. those Triscuits for later. You tell me, Julius. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't. There was there was a dragon dude with wings, and I can't remember if it was Charizard or not. There's, that was secret at Gen 1. There were many dragon dudes with wings. Um, okay, hold on. Julia, I have a challenge for you. Okay, yeah. Can you draw wings but somehow fat? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, hold on. Uh, take... These chubby wings <laughs> and learn to fly away. Okay, good so far. Mm. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> oh, oh, just what is it? Because the whole point of Charizard, especially in the context of like the card game, was that he was such a badass. Yeah. Oh, is he supposed to be a badass? <laughs> I mean, this is also okay. pretty badass. Oh, he's, he's like oh. the coolest one. Again, I love the idea. Oh, much better. Oh, he's got... Yep, there he is, Joe Cool himself. <laughs> Does that make him a badass? Oh. I I like oh, legitimately man. cannot remember anything other than his like big old belly. I like to think that the the Pokedex entry is like this Charizard ate twelve basketballs. <laughs> And you're thinking, I know where you're getting these lines from, and that's a different Pokemon. Oh, is that, what is that, Dratini? Is that what I'm thinking of? It's, it's, Dragonite? Dragonite? Yeah. But it's too late now. Well, it's there now. Yep. It's now there he's now. got a real ripply thorax. <laughs> yep. If you can just make it like he fell over, and now he's just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he fell over and just can't get up. None of his appendages are helpful. <laughs> he does, I like that he's got a spare tire stored in his legs, yeah. though. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That makes it me feel give him gross. That bad foot. Oh he's <laughs> he's just his like his legs <laughs> couldn't support his <laughs> He's broken his legs. Yeah, there's a <laughs> there's definitely a man just crushed under him. <laughs> And loving every second of it. So he didn't have enough badges to control me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be controlled. I need the donut badge. Oh, oh no! And you know, let's let's be clear. We are not body shaming no. this Charizard. I am. Uh, this is a this very... Charizard has let go of himself. <laughs> no. 
We're just regular shaming this we Charizard. Are concerned for its health. <laughs> um, did I get anything? Did I get anything right on this? Did you I, got the tail. You the got the tail. <laughs> did I forget anything important? So, I mean, somehow. I know that like Blastoise has. I mean, those you cannons. forgot that it has a face that isn't just a <laughs> like. <laughs> no, a word. don't touch the I face. Mean, I can redraw it if no, you want. No, no, no. I, Hold I, on. I, I, I'll, no. T- I'll do a take two. No, 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 oh, no, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. All right. All right. This can only get better. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the Hanna-Barbera version yeah, where, like, it's exactly, constantly, you, like... You nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> Hanna-Barbera presents Pokemon with Char- yeah, the this Charizard. this Charizard is like, duh, where'd my trainer go? <laughs> and you hear, like, a muffled voice underneath. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no. No Pokemon should have lips. <laughs> I can't tell what face I like more. Either his tiny face or this one. I mean, like, that's ever stopped you from giving a Pokemon just one face. I love the idea of a Pokemon who's, like, the the strongest Pokemon in the world, but he is literally always afflicted with Confuse. (laughs) So there's always a chance he's just going to sit on you. (laughs) Yeah, instead of hurting himself in Confusion, he just hurts his trainer. What a majestic (laughs) dragon you've laid out. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God! Is this complete? Oh, bravo, bravo, Julia! I feel like I've forgotten something. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me, you idiot! <laughs> I was legitimately worried that I would remember too much, and I'm glad I remembered yeah. just one hey, thing. Julia, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you can be legitimately worried, but don't don't worry about that one. Great. <laughs> These rectangle ass wings. <laughs> So this this Charizard's fat wings are a delicacy. Oh, it's like yeah, pork yeah. belly. I think this Charizard has lost its flying typing. No, this is like in an alt universe where like we've grown domestic Charizards for meat, and this is what it's become. <laughs> All right, Julia, do you want to see <laughs> what Charizard actually yeah. looks like? Oh wait, he's supposed to look angry because he's a badass. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> it looks like he forgot something. He's just like, oh, damn, what was it? Oh, I knew I had something to do with it. Oh, today. my God. Just those I love my gum. <laughs> yeah, this is hey, got like a goiter my gum right there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Julia, this is Charizard. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's a dragon. Well, Remember dragons? Yeah. Those things that don't look <laughs> I mean, like this? He's got I mean, kind of a belly. Yeah, he does have a belly. He does, and I got his tiny arms right. Well, kind of right. They're cooler in the... Oh, and he has... He does have two teeth. I got yeah. that right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the placement... I mean, you got all the cor- the elements correct. He does have, you know, legs and wings and a face. It's still the closest you've ever gotten. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, you know, in 2017, we're turning over a new leaf, water and fire. Yeah, I think by like 2030, Julia might actually know how to draw a Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, boy. (laughs) Well, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching this, for watching these monstrosities unfold. Please subscribe if you don't already. Check out our podcast, What Should We Draw? Check out Wizard and the Bruiser, Jake's podcast. This week's episode, we go into the life and times of Bill Nye the Science Guy. Unlike this show where you constantly unlearn, (laughs) you might actually learn something from Jake's show. (laughs) It's not a blight on your brain. Uh, well, that's going to do it for us. Thanks for watching, and as always, we are very, very sorry. 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 <laughs> Get off me, you ingrate! I'm your trainer, for goodness sake! Ooh, is out! <laughs> that's the snively whiplash-style trainer yeah. that keeps getting sat on. Yes. <laughs>